also, we were talking about the Dalai Lama. This is a man who embraced all faiths. He also embraced people who didn't believe in any particular God. He, he, he reached out to everyone's humanity. But the interfaith community has been paying many tributes uh, through this week to the arch. Let's take a look at some of them. This is a moral universe. There is no way in which injustice and oppression and evil will have the last word. At home, we have something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu says, a person is a person through other persons. The solitary individual is really a contradiction in terms. We are made for complementarity. None of us can ever be totally self-sufficient. Oh, I have very, very good uh, relationships. We, we walked arm in arm against apartheid. I would have a, a, a Muslim imam on one side and a Jewish rabbi on the other, uh, and, and it was fantastic. I shouldn't say some of my best friends are. <laughs> but uh, uh, in fact, they are. <laughs> I mean, one of, one of my greatest heroes is the, is, the, is the Dalai Lama. I don't think, I mean, that God is upset that to the Dalai Lama is not a Christian. You would have been <laughs> such a nice guy, uh, but uh, sadly you are not a Christian. <laughs> Twaddle! I mean, God is thrilled because God is not a Christian. It's, it's, in, it's an incredible thing when you, when you see the generosity and the caring that uh, so, so many, many people show. I'm thrilled to be, to be a human being. I'm thrilled to be alive, to have seen the end of a party. The great African saint said, Thou hast made us for thyself, and our hearts are restless until we find their rest in thee. We, all of us, have discovered heaven to it. in harmony. 